we are going to kick off the facilities meeting. Um, I would do attendance, but it looks like I'm the only one here. Do I just continue? Sure. Okay. Let's start with uh, the HVAC project update. So, just going to give you a timeline here. So, starting today through the 5th, um, equipment is going to start being delivered for the high school annex portion of the project. We're going to store everything in the annex. So, that's by the end of the week, uh, some of this stuff will be here. Rooftop units and um, electrical equipment. On the 17th of this month, they're going to install the gas line. So that's going to take from the 17th to the 21st. 21st, they're going to um, work on the area, which is our art room area, that whole wing over there. Okay. That'll take roughly two weeks. And then 8-5 is when the crane will be delivered. And we'll start moving up to the roof and putting everything up on the roof. We anticipate it to be done the roof on the rooftop units 8-20. And then after that, we're going to move over to the middle school. So 9-10 is equipment delivery for the middle school. You said September 10th? Correct, September 10th. Okay. On, the tw on, on September 20th, we're going to start the duct work, the duct changes, and everything over at the middle school. So that is for our music wing and the cafeteria. On the 20th, September 20th, I'll offer the lift will be delivered. So we don't have an actual end date, but we're looking at about two and a half weeks. So end of September is the goal. And so the high school work is scheduled to be completed uh, by like Labor Day weekend? Correct. Yes. And is that commissioning the systems, controls tie in, making sure everything is functioning? Yes. Yep. So the high school will be done first. Okay. Um, all the testing, and I'll do my walkthrough, and then we'll move over to the school. Okay. Awesome. I have a copy as well. If you want to take a note. Yes, I'll take that after the meeting. Um, is there anything else related to the HVAC project? No, that's our update so far. Okay. Everything's good. They were here today. All right. Um, the next item is the yearly work order summary. Yeah, so this is basically, I'm not sure if you're too familiar, but we have a work order system. Um, this is how we hold our contractors accountable, how uh, Mr. Walker and Mr. Brody won't be accountable for what I do here for the district as well. And I put together a work order. Uh, basically, it's the work orders from the start from the beginning of the school year until today. Um, how many we have based off trade, so plumbing, electrical, uh, even custodial needs, um, moving furniture, all the pest control, all that fun stuff. Um, so I do have that, and I, I can pass that around. Um, let's see here. I'm not sure if you've ever seen this yet. So, the bottom portion is or you can pass work it. order completion. No, they've already seen this. Okay. So, yeah. So. So this is not scheduled for maintenance. These are reactive work orders. And you can see down at the bottom the completion. So typically when a work order comes in, based off that scope of work, if, if it's an emergency, you know, we respond within two hours and get working on it. Um, if it's not, let's say if it's something like for a year replacing bulbs or ballasts, I give my guys a week to 
to it. Um, depending on the lead time on ballast, or the immediate ballast, you can sometimes get the order. So mm -hmm. all that is, it all comes in, uh, in fruition here with tasks that are overdue and tasks that are done on time. Um, tasks that are done on time, this is actually came up 22% from last year. But you can also see up top here how many work orders. So heating and cooling is 214 throughout the school year. So that's AC is going down, you not working. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. And now does it like, uh, let's say you get like multiple calls for the same issue, does that count or does that so filter I, out? Um, the system actually flags it. Okay. So it'll tell you, it'll say repeat or conflict and it'll flag it. Okay, cool. This is a school year. Yeah. And it, it's across all the buildings as well. For five, so River Rock is also in here. This is for five buildings. That's also why we're doing the HPAC project. Yeah, that's why we're doing yeah. everything. That's going to go down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, is there a way just for future to break it out by building? Oh, absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, does anybody have any other questions? I'll, I'll make a note of that. So. Okay, yeah. Just another another pie chart. <laughs> uh, next on the item list is the middle school bleachers. Yeah, quick update. Um, installation for the bleachers is scheduled for July 29th. We're looking at three days. Okay. That's it. Just all the way. But you know, everything's coming in. We're getting, getting moving. Awesome. And then um, the next thing I have here is the transportation fuel tank update. Yes. So the concrete for the pad is being poured. Just between. real quick, this is the first time I'm seeing this, so can okay. you give a little bit of uh, sure. feedback? Uh, in the Christ transportation contracts, um, well, we have fuel that was at roads and clients. Just start backwards. Our fuel is actually being stored by Alter. He's storing that fuel for us. In the contract, their Christ transportation is supposed to have a tank for us, so we don't have to keep going to Turkey Hill and Speedway. Um, so, Christ now has the tank in place. They just got permits and the concrete is being poured this week. So, what this will help is our school buses are right there and they will fuel up. No more Turkey Hill, no more Speedway, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So, and then when the tank gets to a certain point, they will notify me and I will get the, the tank filled so, yeah. And just to be clear, the Christ pays the difference. Because we get the fuel from DCIU. Correct. And Correct. There's no other side, right? That is the other thing that's back to the price. We have a consortium price. We get together with the other schools in the county for consortium price. Um, that's the guy who helps facilitate that for us. And this, so this is just for the school buses, it's not for like facilities, vehicles, or anything? No. No. Okay. The school buses, vans, anything, you know. Game of transportation, athletics. Gotcha. Okay. So they're all right. Now that I'm up to speed. <laughs> yeah. So we are splitting the fuel removal costs. So we will have to have a pump company come and take the fuel from Alters to Edwards, and we're going to split that cost. And do we know how much that's going to be? Roughly $2,500 for us, $2,500 for them. And that was in the budget. Okay. All right. And when is this scheduled to be completed? End of August. So they have to put the tank in, then they fill the tank up with water, and they test it, make sure it doesn't leak. Then another guy comes out and does his inspections. All right, cool, awesome. Um, just give me one second. All right. 
the next thing I have on the item is the fire protection contract. Our fire protection contract is up on the end of July. And we have four bids. Oh, yes, yes. Just me. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm just that sign as well as well. Take a look at that. And who is is one of these four our current? So our current vendor is SSI. Okay. And we currently paid this past year seventeen thousand. Okay. Based off the old contract. So the vendors come in, um, we do walkthroughs, we look at all the smoke detectors together. And Put together a count of the smoke detectors, um, the back photos, look at everything. They need the pricing. Um, so JCI was ten thousand dollars cheaper than everybody else. Was there a reason why? Like even I work for them, but I would even I say know. that's why. So uh, he said it's been about twenty years since they were in here. And you want to be very aggressive with that. So. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll definitely, I definitely like to take a look at the fit. This be something to move forward for you guys to vote on for the next vote. Yes. So, I will go down the line. Um, SSI, so we have, we've had, they've been great. A lot of the guys are local. They live here, they're invested. Um, you know, when our main fire panel went down here, Literally, it was a year ago, right before graduation. They were here for 20 minutes, so they were super quick. Uh, Berkshire is, you know what they do, but I believe they're probably more of an HVAC company. Um, Hutcher, I've never dealt with them, so I don't have a whole lot of experience, but they were here before in the school district. Yes, it's all, so this entire proposal is based off the same scope of work and all the same offers. And it's a, it's a two-year contract. We always do two-year contract with this because the price range. Right. Yeah, with escalation and all that, yeah. Um, well, in the contract, I'm just wondering, is there, um, you know, added fees for additional scope? Or Great question. So, how we do this is, they're doing the uh, inspections. If they find the problem, it does not necessarily mean we need to hire them to fix the problem. Nine times out of ten, that will be bid out. So if an inspection is found or an issue is found by JSI, um, depending on the cost, that would be bid out to all four of these companies. All four. Okay. So the contract is just for the maintenance of the existing Correct. system. Anything new? Reports. Anything new goes to bid. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah, I would suggest next next voting meeting for you guys to, to decide what you guys want to do. So. All right. And we always have these inspections the end of July. That way we have the summer to prepare for our any issues. Give me one second. My computer seems to have crashed. Oh, that was the last thing. There was one thing not on the agenda. Do we have a Weaver Town update? I know the last thing we did was approve the appraisal. Uh, what was it, Weaver Town update? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're, we are in the process of um, waiting for the final uh, appraisal of the property. Um, we are looking to receive that as soon as the 12th, I think, is anticipated to get that back. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. From my understanding, we do have to end up receiving a second um, appraisal for the property as well. Uh, we're looking to sell it uh, as according to our solicitors. So um, we'll be taking it one step at a time, see where we are after the first one. Then uh, the, the appraisal we went with was a little bit for the first one. Um, and we, we have to have some more conversations with our solicitor to find out how important it is that we uh, have a second appraisal done by somebody that they back a little bit more, if you will. So. so from, you're talking from the township? No. No, no. Our, we, we have to have the property appraised to sell it. Yes. Um, from two separate appraisers. But that was never brought up in the meetings we had. That was just one appraisal. The last meeting I was invited to. <laughs> Uh, I think that was coming from our solicitor. They walked us through the process of what we need to do. Okay. And they said we have to have a second before we actually go for the sale. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Our next meeting is on the 12th with this appraiser, our first appraiser. This is the same process we used when we sold Birds Pro years ago. So it's the same process. And now, do we have to get more bids for appraisal, or can yeah. we use one yeah. from the previous? So we got, I got three, and then our solicitor gave us a bid as well. Okay, so the next voting meeting, we would just Decide approve one, one of the three remaining. Is that is that right? Well, the next voting meeting being the tenth, no. We want to meet with the first appraisal first, meet with our solicitor, find out exactly what those next steps are. That's, that's not going to slow down the process of getting it appraised again. So we want to see what that number is and then keep going down. We have what the engineer is doing, some correct for us right now, we're doing it, make sure we're going to die. Um, right, but if we yeah. miss this voting meeting, the next mode voting meeting would be in like July to approve that. There is no, we can hold an emergency voting meeting at any time, uh, but the next meeting scheduled after that is August something. Oh, well, even further. <laughs> correct, correct. Right. So, can we just vote to sort of approve one of the other bids we got so that when we decide to move forward, it's already done? We and save can. us time and having to meet again? And we can. It, it, it just would be right now to get things on the next voting meeting, we more or less have to like Thursday. And the end of the year has just been very difficult with all the negotiations. No, I mean, I get that. Yeah. An appraisal is like, it was like $2,000. It's The question isn't about the, the appraisal process itself. That's easy. We just yeah. have to check with somebody. Right. It has to do with the conversation we have to have with our solicitor about how important it actually is for the solicitor to back the appraiser that we're getting the work done from. Uh, it's my understanding because it, it, everything else gets so complicated. Yes. Um, there's a good chance some of these situations end up back in court. And so it has to be somebody that our solicitor is actually comfortable doing court work with. And that's where we're right. still in. Right, Un understood. Process. But if we have a bid from that solicitor approved appraiser, yeah. can we just throw it on to approve it? If we decide we need to, it's already yes. approved. We, we actually could, just know that it's not a little bit. That's understandable. Yeah. It usually yeah. never is. Correct. <laughs> that's, that's been the conversation. Yeah. I mean, is it like significant? Do we know how much that solicitor approved bid is? 85. 85? 85, yeah. That is kind of high. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's where we are. That's yeah. that's kind of back and forth what we're doing right now. Okay. All right. We can always put it on there and then adjust if need be later. Just because we approve that we can do it doesn't mean we'll move forward with it. Right. That's and that but avoids that's us process. having to get together. Yeah. In the middle of July to approve it. So it's not a bad idea. Um, why don't we put it on there? Because then we at least, I mean, to your point, have it on there and we can move forward if we need to. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, Ms. Bell, you have any additional questions? No, thank you. All right. That concludes our facilities uh, meeting.